retaliatory system. We did, this, this system was built to protect itself from an attack, possibly, and to be able to retaliate. That's why we have all this concrete and steel. Here on this level, then, we would receive a message from the President of the United States through the Joint Chiefs of Staff down through the, all the commands that participate. And eventually, we would pop out one of these speakers. The commander and deputy are trained to copy these messages. They would do so in this book, each one of them copy independently, with a crew member looking over their shoulders to make sure they copy correctly. Once that was done, and they agreed that the message, again, no husband and wife team, they agreed that the <laughs> message was accurate, then they could go to the safe, if it, was, if it was a launch message, open the safe, remove the launch keys, insert them, and then com continue, to, uh, continue to process the message. One of the major steps in doing so is to make sure that it's authentic. It was done using a set of cards. The cards could be cracked open and inside there should be six values that match the values that were, were originally transmitted in the message. That being done, that would be a thank uh, message coming from the President. You could continue on. To continue, you would enter then, for the first time you'd have the information necessary for the uh, coded switch system. Those values would be inserted, a button would be pressed. If you got a green light, then you could initiate the launch sequence. But you had to have a time to launch. That was determined by uh, a reference time in the message. That would be uh, determined by the crew then, using other documents that they had on the site. Then at then a particular time, they would wait here at the clock, and when that time came, they'd launch the missile. If they had time, they would go through the processes necessary that called for in the checklist to prepare the complex for launch. If it was very quick, they would eliminate those until they, uh, after they launched. We're going to go quickly. If the, let's assume that the second hand is coming up on the double zeros. What I'd like you to do is to reach up and touch the key. It takes two people to launch the key, as it does to perform any other uh, task in the site for safety and security reasons. So what we're going to do now is to have you give us a countdown from three to zero, and then I want you to turn the key to the right and hold it. I have to do the same thing at that time and hold it for five seconds, otherwise the sequence won't start. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Three, two, one, zero. Turn. You turn? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, you can release. The launch sequence is started. From now on, it's all automatic. There's a lot of signals going in and out of this drawer. Everything in here is designed to do this process automatically. It's only going to take about 58 seconds. Your first signal, launch enable, means that the value in here that you've inserted is correct. Battery is activated. On board the missile are two batteries that are being activated with electrolyte. They're, being com they're coming up to charge, which will give us the third light, meaning that they're up to charge. And then we'll get the next lights in the series relatively quickly. Silo soft and guidance go will be the next lights that we get. As the silo door opens, we'll get a, an alarm from the security system up there, meaning the door is moving. And now we have the missile exposed for the first time. Water is being injected into the engines, and in a few minutes we'll be getting the engine start indication. Four seconds later, the engines have started, and the uh, liftoff indication will be the last thing that you see. Now you can go outside and wave bye bye to the missile because it's beginning its 35 minute flight to uh, target two, some 6,000 miles away. Now, what you heard and what you felt was exactly what the crew would have heard and felt. Than a flight, uh, 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 launch. Now you notice down here we've got fires uh, resulting from the missile engine firing. We have a checklist in here to, to, to uh, return all this to a normal state. The crew has uh, some hours of, uh, has uh, some days of air and water available to them as well as food. And the next thing they would probably do would be wait for communications from higher headquarters or they would. Uh, they would use their recovery and constitution plan to uh, help them with the next few days of their life.